I love cock. How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It's finally time to renew, review another new car that's been added to the game. Now this one is quite an interesting one. Very easy to get, unlike all the other ones which take ages. And it's just interesting in general. Now the car in question is the Napier Railton. I believe that's how you pronounce it. We're going to get to the car in a minute, but first I have a couple of things to say. As I'm pretty sure all of you were probably excited about, schools, colleges and whatever around the world are going to be closed for the next god knows how long, probably months, meaning that lots of you are going to be home. And to make the most of that, I'm going to start doing lots more live streams, mainly on Twitch. However, we are going to do a 24-hour YouTube live stream. Within it, we're going to do a 2,000-plus mile race which should take around 12, 13 hours. And this race will be the world record for the most XP and most credits ever got in a single race in Forza Horizon 4. And we're going to do it on this channel. So if that live stream interests you, 24 hour live stream on YouTube, world record race and all sorts. If you just want to be live with me for 24 hours, it will be pretty soon. Make sure to stay subscribed. The 24 hour live stream will be full of giveaways. We'll not only be playing, we'll be chilling, we'll be chatting. There'll be giveaways and stuff for merch and stuff for stickers, all sorts like that. Anyway, straight into the new car. Now the new car is on the festival playlist. It is available in autumn, which is this month for the next week. Now, it is not at 50% completion. You can get this new car for just simply doing one seasonal event, which is three races. Very easy. They are in the fastest cars in the world. Just kidding. They couldn't have picked any slower cars to do the races in, so they'll take a bit of time and they're a bit boring. But once you do the three races, they're fairly easy to win. You will unlock the new Railton. Here it is, it is a 564 horsepower, 24 litre engine that is from a plane. To put 24 litres into perspective, look at all of these things. A Nismo, 2.5 litre, you can see sort of down here somewhere. Displacement is 2,500, which is 2.5. This is a 4.4 litre, Pagani Huayra a 6.2 litre. All the Paganis are about 6 litre. But the Napier, 24 litre. Wow. Now, from a bit of calculations, this car probably only does maybe one or two miles per gallon. Maybe not even that. But out of curiosity, we're going to have a look at the upgrades. There is no engine swap. We can drivetrain swap it, which is interesting. Can we? Oh, no way we can put race tyres on it. No way, look at that. We're going to drive it stock first, and then we're going to take a look at it upgraded. Here we go. Ooh. As you probably noticed, it redlines at just under 3,000 RPM. In fact, bang on 3,000. It's got a very interesting engine sound to it. Out of curiosity, oh, God, look how big it is. It's massive. Just a quick 0 to 60 test, very roughly. Between 5 and 6 seconds 0 to 60, which is pretty impressive. That is very impressive. I'll tell you what, for a car that's almost 100 years old, it's only got 3 gears. It's really hard to change gears correctly. It must have a... It's an old gearbox, isn't it? It's going to be weird. We need some upgrades on this beast. 500 horses isn't enough. We're going to make it even faster. Mm. Fizzed up my nose then. We're just going to put some standard race tires. We don't want any of those stickers on. Let's make the wheels thicker. Got some 245s on the front, 245s on the rear as well. Change up the rims. Just joking. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Now I'm just going to guess 789 horsepower. That is a pure guess. Probably miles off. Ooh, pretty close. Pretty close. Now I'm not going to, well you can't actually change the final drive, that's that's weird. Right, we'll leave the tuning as it is. I'm just curious about the paint groups. Oh, you can change the bottom. Oh, that's pretty cool. What colour looks kind of cool then? Do you know, I quite like red. Let's go with red. <laughs> it's 
sometimes I hate having these behind me. They actually make me jump when I see them in the corner of my eye. James. Right, let's see this now. Feels more. That's better. It feels. I don't know why I crashed into him. I had plenty of time to avoid that. The shifting's. Ooh, squeeze through, please. The shifting is a lot more quicker now. Oh, there's no more gears. For some reason, fourth gear was a lot louder than the others. Doesn't make any sense to me. It sort of whines as it gets to 2700 RPM. I was looking in the wrong place then, there we go. Now I'm trying to get the top, sp if we have it there, Maybe there, there, there maybe. There we go. Let's try that. I want to get the top speed a bit higher because it's maxing out quite easily. At least I've given it its unique car sound because it's technically a plane engine, isn't it? There we go. Right, it's maxed out fifth. What kind of speeds can we get it to do? Will it top 180? Yes, it will. Will it top 190? Yes, it will. Will it top 200? It, it is going to. I'm going to crash. 200. 201. 202. 203. Wow. Now, that's not the easiest thing to do in this car because you can't change the final drive. It's already maxed out. So you know what to do now if you want 200 miles an hour out of this thing. I'm not gonna lie, it seems pretty high. Let me compare it to a uh, thingy bit mob. Comparing it to a Morgan three-wheeler, it's pretty gigantic. Now there's probably not really anything under the car to look at. I want, I want to look at the plane engine. Doesn't seem like launch control works on this car either. It balances at 500 RPM, but then when you try to change it, it's not working. Right, it's to get her back end out though, and I have just realised how massive the steering wheel is. She's having to hold it like this, instead of like this, it's like this. See, cars like this I like, it's all good and well begging Playground Games to add like the fastest cars in the game, like the Speedtail and the Performante, but you've got to mix it up with stuff like this as well, really strange stuff that really do stand out. Not going to lie, I'm not very interested in the old classic cars that get added in the some of the mid-range stuff are all right. I like the fast cars, but then again, I like these cars as well. The ones that are really, really bizarre. Lots of people were actually complaining about Update 20 not having enough new cars, but we got the speed tail. Not many games have the speed tail in, and we got this as well, the 24 litre weird looking penis car with a plane engine in it. Now, if you ask me, I'm pretty all right with that. I do not mind two wow look at her wow look at that three pedals because it's a manual obviously there's oil and petrol gauges on the left down there little knobs down there to be honest it looks pretty familiar to a you know to a, to a car nowadays it just looks a bit more open and what was it from 1933 it's nearly as old as him not gonna lie it is a pretty cool car now there are actually already some pretty cool designs for it Mostly just two tones by the looks of it, which are actually getting some downloads. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to make a pink paint job and pop that on the marketplace and see how many downloads I get. There we go. If you want a pink um, Railton, you know where to find my design. Well, ladies and gentlewomen, 
I'm going to leave it there. I like it to be very quick. Look at the top speed. Look at how much horsepower it can have to full upgraded. Talk about it in general and just see what it's like. I need to get this hideous paint job off of it. Now, I will remind you all, make sure to subscribe. Can't even say it. To subscribe if you haven't already, as we are doing lots of streams now you're all off school. Plenty of giveaways and stuff within it. As always, we always do that. Including that world record stream. We need to get it out of the way. It's going to be a lot easier for me to do now I'm at home streaming and not at my nans. The OGs will remember those streaming days. But yeah, overall thoughts on this car, I suggest you get it. It's actually, it's actually very easy to get compared to the other ones, and it's one of the most exciting cars this week. Um, this month, sorry. Just under the speed tail. But anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. For more folks, for some more content. And I'll see you all later.